we look at GMOs, what, what are we doing with GMOs? We do just a sort of, we're skipping steps. A tomato, okay, there's a GMO tomato may, according to the, the, the FDA, be the same as a tomato that was obtained organically through uh, natural mechanism, or natural mechanism, or human breeding even. But these steps are not the same as skipping zillions of steps to get to, to a tomato, you see? We don't know in the soil what's going to do to other plants. We don't know what's going to do to you. We have a lot of unknowns. So when you have a lot of unknowns like that, you put the precautionary principle until further notice. So that's what we're doing. But and I we interviewed I interviewed uh, Greg Page, who's the former uh, CEO of Cargill, and uh, he's he he accepts the idea that there may be some risks, but he he as you would argue doesn't uh, think much about ruin. So his view, and I think the view of many people in the industry, and certainly many scientists, whether they're tainted by self-interest or not, it would they would say, well, look, people are eating these new tomatoes that have, say, the gene of a fish in it or whatever has been done to it, and they're not dying. And it's hard to understand why you would be worried about the fact that there's going to be, say, a mass extinction of human beings from eating uh, a GMO-modified tomato. So what's what's the real – what's the scientific evidence? No, no, that, that exactly what we don't want to avoid, have to talk about scientific evidence when the burden or the proof is on the GMO people to show us that they understand anything remotely about their tail risk, which they don't. The tail risk is not someone dying from eating a tomato. That's not, that's a, that's not a big risk. No, that's not a systemic risk. The big risk is what can happen uh, when you have – a uh, um, two things going together, which is what happened with, with, with the Soviet style is a, a combination of mon monopoly of some plants over others. There's too large a system. And, of course, uh, uh, creation of, of other species, uh, you know, that will themselves be also too powerful. And then you may, may, they may kill the GMOs or one may kill the other. And you may have huge imbalances in nature. And these imbalances in nature can produce uh, large deviations. This is our point. And, uh, and we haven't seen any paper looking at the risk from that standpoint. And there, when, they, when people look at risk, we look at them. Some are using 1960s uh, Kenneth Arrow type uh, reasoning, which, of course, is not, you know, it, it's too primitive to allow us uh, to uh, make any conclusion. And, um, and when people say, where is the evidence? Uh, tell them, hey, you know, what was the evidence that, uh, that smoking could cause cancer? What was the uh, ev evidence that uh, lobotomy was, was bad? What was the evidence that uh, Teldane, Triludan, Seldane, Ecotrin, uh, Lipobay, Baycol, Distilbene, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce them, Viox, Seox, um, Teledex, all the Teledomide uh, things. Uh, where, 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 where was the evidence that these were harmful? Evidence showed up late. You but see, you sometimes even here. in one case across the generation. So, it's so you have a, a problem with the reasoning of people okay, invoking evidence when they don't know what they're talking about as far as evidence. Okay, no statistician put a stamp that we have evidence that this is safe. They tell you failure to reject the null at this percentage. And, and, and so they sort of agree with us, that, that tail is not investigated. We haven't seen investigation of the tail that's properly done. But as, as you point out in the paper, if you're not careful, you can invoke that for lots of things. And you're saying... Exactly. So we are not invoking. For example, nuclear, we cannot invoke the precaution principle for the nuclear. You see? Why? Because the nuclear will stay local. It doesn't mean it's not risky. You see, you may want to ban nuclear for risk purpose. But the nuclear, you could not have a Fukushima cannot destroy, uh, lead to destructions in India for, or may in India, but not in uh, Lebanon, you see, or maybe Lebanon, but not Cyprus. So you don't have, but if you have now the same crops invading the whole planet, you know, it's too much. You, you, you know, having GMOs on an island is one thing and generalizing things to the planet in the name of science is another thing.